before I start this boss fight, just because I want people to drink, I want people to be inebriated, and because I had a little bit of damage. And what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to hit the boss, I'm going to run back up the tower, I'm going to apply the gold pine resin, I'm going to drop down from the tower, two-handing my sword, and then I'm going to proceed to beat him in the, in the stomach with it. In theory, it should kill him. If it doesn't, uh, he'll probably kill me because my vitality is so low, he's just going to shit stomp me if I'm not careful. But, two-handed, applying the gold pine resin, and then I drop down on him. Which, <clears throat> a lot of people will tell you to immediately go back to where you were. Roll through his legs, if you can. Try and get the stun because his poise isn't too great. Watch out for the, 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 the turning smash. Oh, we got him. Awesome. Oh, that is not the taunt I want there, God damn it! That is a rude taunt. Fuck that shit. Right. Switch. The point down's kind of kind of rude too. Where's the fucking the, the prayer? The bow. There we go. Bow. I like bowing. So if you missed what happened, the thing with the Taurus demon is he's he's extremely weak. And when you come down, you two-hand two your weapon, you do a lot of damage. Because this is such a hard-hitting weapon with the, the lightning resin on it, I did massive damage to him. Uh, his attacks are pretty slow, and the best way to evade them is to try and roll between his legs, which is exactly what I did. Uh, I ran out of stamina a little bit, so I had to wait for that to come back. But you'll notice when I hit him from behind, I think the second hit staggered him. And what this means is I broke his poise break limit, and that is what that means. And uh, poise is a very important statistic for getting, um, for your attacks being interrupted. Uh, I'll talk more about poise when we wear armor that's got it on. But the only really important thing you need to make sure when you're a low level player and you've just got, you know, your stuff, you just started the game, is your shield and its stability. You need a shield with 100% physical defense. Uh, there are no shields with 100% magical defense, so don't even try. Uh, you want your shield to have as high a stability as possible, because what stability dictates is how much stamina you lose when somebody hits your shield. Obviously, the higher the stamina, the less stamina you lose. The higher the stability, sorry, the less stamina you lose. And that is pretty much how you want to base your character if you're going to be a very block-heavy dude. 